getting into game two here of Mafia Killer Van versus Destroyer. This is Pro Chosen. This is Pro Butterfly. Chosen, take it away. Definitely. Right here in the top right position playing the blue Terran, we have Mafia Kelevran. And up here in the top middle position playing the purple Protoss, we have Destroyer. So in game two, they switched races. It's 1-0 Destroyer, so Kelevran is going to have to win this, or the best of three is over. I like this setup, though, because both have literally not only just switched races, but they're right next to each other once again, and Terran has the corner base. Yep, they are right next to each other with Terran possessing the corner, so it's pretty much an exact rematch. And basically, it's looking like the Protoss is not going to mid-build, so that could be a disadvantage because uh, you don't. this is kind of a spot abuse for the Terran because the Terran is in a corner base right next to the mid base here, and he's going to be able to tank that ledge pretty even if he lets this go to the late game. Let's go back to Protoss here, see what they're doing. Well, he's just going to be. Go is he going to be going for a yeah, Nexus? Yeah, he's going to go. That's why he's going to go back. No game. Obviously, go for the sec second Nexus. Yeah, this is going to be bad for the Protoss. It's uh, unfortunate for the positions because it's going to be tough for him to beat this corner Terran given the build that he's doing it. He should have been a little bit more aggressive, but it's impossible for him to know the positions and. The Terran is doing the same build that Destroyer did last game. It looks like a two barracks academy sort of tech build. So it's going to be very interesting to see how it plays out. Probe now scouting. Oh, no, he's oh. not going to scout. He's going to go for the choke. So is he, he's going to get another Nexus. He's going Nexus, Forge, Pylon, Nexus. He's going to be going for a Nexus right here with as soon as he gets 400 minerals. So the next pro is going to be building a Nexus. And if you've really noticed with when people scout, and you're, when you're in the top right, he's going to scout across his base first. They always usually do that. Yeah, he's going to scout to the right because, um, well, if you're top right, you're going to scout here first. They, because they always do. You don't want to go down because if you go down, you don't care if they're mid-left because you know, or I mean, sorry, I'm sorry, mid-right. You don't care if they're mid-right because you know you're going to have the advantage of the spots. So you want to go here to the top middle position because you have less of an advantage versus that position. And the two cannons going up at the choke here, that's going to be plenty. They'll be, yeah, be enough to fight off any kind of marines. Yeah, the marines aren't going to be able to get in here early, but the, he's got three marines moving out here, but he still doesn't know where the Protoss is, and they the Protoss both, just found the Terran. Both know what they are now. Oh, he wants to get that probe. He's going yeah, back. Yeah, of course. This went no cheese build in his base. Uh-uh, girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, but that's definitely not going to happen. That probe is not going to be able to do anything. And the academy is up, and it's researching stim first, which is interesting. Probably because he saw the probe, and he wants the stim to be able to have the fast movement versus zealots for micro. And also maybe for going for fire bats to kind of stim the workers. A little Look. harassment going on here. Oh, almost got a hiss. Ooh, nice, nice that micro. Would've... That would have been bad for Terran if that actually would have happened. Yeah, you don't want to lose a worker as a Terran. So good job by Keeley. Putting the firebats here in front. But now he's going to move out, and he needs to bring those firebats along if he's versing Zealots for sure. Terran obviously doesn't know where Purple is yet. Yeah, but oh, he's, he's going to find out right, right now. The cannon making quick work of that Marine. So now Killebrand knows exactly what he's up against. I'm going to anticipate him. There's the command center. He's going to be going for a factory tank push, but maybe a two-fact build. Is Stim upgraded yet? Is he now going to range? Or what? Yeah, well... Oh, I, okay. I, just, I, saw, I saw it so lighted, so I figured... The oh, he's going coming. triple command center. Uh, he's going to be going for a late game because he knows late game he has the spot advantage, so he's not worried about playing a long game. And the Protoss, he's just, he's just now getting three gas geysers and going for a four-gate build. He's not going to be trying to be aggressive for a while. The Terran knows he doesn't even need to choke because units are going to be enough. That he, he knows, judging by the four cannons that he saw when he attacked, that the Protoss is going to be playing for kind of a choke and yep. triple build. The Protoss wants the game to go on a little bit longer. Yeah, and uh, the Protoss is not going to be happy with the positions because he knows it's going to be hard to break the Terran with this corner ramp to fight through when he's in the base right next to those siege tanks. Just Siege tanks are just such a pain in the... Yes, you know what, because siege tanks, I mean, on fastest when you can get on these ledges, and siege tanks, just, they're a horrible thing to go against when you're, they're in a corner base. So, what I would expect Destroyer to do is go for some sort of drops, but he's not going for any sort of tech, and I think that's a mistake in his part, because he's going for macro, but he triple nexus, so by the time that macro kicks in, 
the Terran is going to have tanks out and be able to cope with it. So I think it's an error in strategy on Destroyer's part. And if I had to give an advantage, I would say that Mafia Kelvran is going to be able to equal the series 1-1 after this game. With the Firebat Cam, he's not worried one bit. Oh, yeah. You know, goons aren't coming for a while. And if there are goons coming in, it's not going to be a heavy amount that you can't fight off. And right there, Destroyer was just scouting to see exactly what Mafia Kelvran yep. had as a choke. He wants to make sure that he's building some units, wasting he, some money on them. He knew that that scout wasn't going to get into the base, but he just wanted to see the choke point. He wanted to see what was going on here, if he had barracks here, if he had bunkers here, if he had tanks here soon. He just wanted to see exactly what was going on. And we're seeing mass gateways, which I think it's a big mistake, personally. But Also, range on the goons, it looks like he's upgrading. Yep, he's definitely upgrading yep. range. Yeah. And he's getting this, these cannons here so he can prevent a fast tank drop. Lots lots of gas, too, you know what about Protoss. Yeah, so. definitely lots of gas, which means he's he's worried. He's thinking he's, he's going to have to be getting carriers later, which I think is definitely the case. Well, and even then, the even then, temps, whatever, you know, whatever, yeah. anything has to just slow down. He's going to have to hurt the Terran economy. As Protoss, you have to hurt the economy. The scans? Oh, that's just too hot. Yeah, I mean, need this it. is basically like having map pack for the Terran, I mean... He's got two scanners. He's going to constantly know what's going on in the Terran base. And Paras, I mean, I'm sorry, the Protoss base. And Protoss isn't going to build anything outside his base, most likely. I mean, he could. You never know. They always find some way, you know. And Destroyer's going... He went for a goon macro build here, trying to break this choke. With, with about the timing, though, know, that's about accurate. Because he knows, okay, my goons are going to be more powerful than the level one unit of Terran. So I just need to get them before those tanks come out. Ooh, fire. sexy siege mode. And Once again. That's GG to that attack. You're not going to break that tank. He's like, back out, girlfriend. <laughs> Trying to kill this barracks so that he can fire on those bunkers, but that's just not going to happen. Oh, bats for Bring... two? <laughs> Are you brave? Bring yes. those fire bats back. Bring those no, fire he's, just, he's like, I'll take you on. Yeah, he's just trying to keep him off the tank, and it worked, so... Going into late game, Terran is definitely going to have the advantage. You see him putting the turrets up here. He knows mm -hmm. he needs to protect his economy, and he'll have the advantage. So, and the, yeah, he's just going to be going for macro still, but he is he's researching nice. Storm now, about seven minutes into the game, he's going to be going for about a nine minute Templar drop. But Pross is also upgrading all three forges, he's going to go out with all the main upgrades and keep his unit strong. Yes, he is going to be ahead in upgrades, except 1-1 one -one is just finishing for the infantry units for the Terran. Dun, dun, dun. And this choke, I mean, there's no way that Protoss is going to break this choke with ground mass. He's going to basically have to go for mass drops or carriers. That's his only two options at this point. And, and Terran's going to know that. And he obviously slightly has because he's already been putting up turrets. Yeah. That's what he obviously does to maintain yeah. his base. Mafia Calibran, very experienced, very smart. I'm sure he knows exactly what to prepare for. He's going for turrets all around his base. It's he knows the drops destroyed. are coming. He knows the drops are coming. And I'm sure Destroyer knows that he's going to be have to go in for mass drops and mass carries. You see the Stargate's going up already. He knows, both players know exactly what they need to do. It's just who comes down to performance at this point. And we see the two gateways producing Templars here. He's going to be really trying to hurt the economy. He might wait for shuttle speed. He's got it researching. And at this point, I think it'd be a good idea. If he can get the Terran's economy, he's going to be looking in a pretty good shape. Yeah, I mean, he can get just it once. Times. He needs to get it the first time. If this drop fails, then I believe it's GG and the Terran is going to win. In, in the long run. Yeah. In the long run. He has to have this drop succeed. He's not going to be able to do any damage to the choke. And Kellogg, you see him playing for late game because he knows that he needs to do it because he has a set cloud advantage. More and more hunters going up. He just, right now, he just wants to play safe and sorry. Look at the bats. They just fry as he wants. Shish kebab and in the fire, whatever you call it. And I like how I like how Killebrand puts two fire bats and two marines in these front bunkers. That way, no matter what he throws at him, he's going to have an equal chance of holding him off long enough against the tanks. So, very nice by Killebrand. Two fire bats and two bunkers in each of these bunkers. Just tanks and fire bats, though. Fire bats are kind of the Z's. Tanks yeah. are kind of the goons. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Really. Kellebrand doing everything right at this point. He's just playing the game how he needs to do it to take the win. And he has a significant advantage in this game so far. Mafia is just really, really concentrating on his macro, though. Putting up more gateways. Oh, he knows. oh, drop, drop. He puts the scout no, in there to many distract fire. Oh, he, this could be hot. Oh, the shuttle is alive with the Templars. How many is he going to kill? No, not storming oh. at the tanks. He was waiting to try to hit the SCVs because he couldn't see them, and... And that, sh and that drop did no damage. Nice job by Killer Van. Very nice. Both, both players. 
I mean, Lafayette even didn't get that far. It's kind of impressive to me. Yeah, I mean, bo- the series, both games, both players been playing pretty good. Mafia Killebrand is looking like he's going to be poised to make this 1-1. Look at that count, though. 161 supplies for a Terran, 142 for Protoss? Yeah, that's GG. Not likely. That's GG. As Protoss, when you're right next to a Terran, you cannot be behind in supply, especially when you don't have any carriers up. Uh, there's no way, there's absolutely no way that Destroyer is going to be able to hold his main base here. He's going to have to make an expo, choke it off with cannons yeah. and get carriers because this base is going to die. He's behind the Terran and supply by a ways, and there's just no way he's going to be able to hold it off when Killer Man pushes. So that's Protoss likes to expand out of their base, build a couple extra gateways so when they're fully under attack and the Terran storm is in their base, they can run them into the Terran. Yeah, that is true. It's easy to expand with Protoss. You can just take one probe. 